hello guys welcome back to the entertainment bars right here on the that tv as you already know on this channel we give the latest entertainment gossip and bars in the Ghanaian showbiz industry so if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel click on the bell icon so that anytime you drop a new content you will be the first to be notified and so don't forget to also drop your comment in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends so i called here and you know that we've been advertising that we're going to have a conversation with him he joins us on skype hello sack how are you doing yeah he seems hello. to see first hmm. <laughs> is that his day i trust i trust you're doing very well i'm good i'm talking to miss g right yes this is miss g speaking to you sack oh hello 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 has the family has titi belated birthday to her yes everyone everyone is fine i mm. would thank god they are all good yeah great to know that and uh are, are you locked down in the united states or you're you're having your vacation <laughs> so um i had something to do out here in the states but i, I think i guess i came in the wrong time and then um when it was time for me to like get back the lockdown happened and i couldn't uh, go so i'm still here so what we are waiting for is probably like some good news in the coming in the coming days if possible that we can get back home because i miss home i'll give everything like this is the i normally like being home but this is like the time that i would give everything to be home you know so we're just waiting till they open uh the, the borders so that we can get back in oh we also miss you down here we can't wait to have you home as well but a little bit whispered to me just to chip this in that you better creep in uh, out in the united states or somewhere out there so i presume that's what we are seeing on our screens no no i'm actually this is the times where you know um if you're not prepared for it but you have to do it because I'm, I'm i'm leaving somewhere that i'm just hoping that everything just gets back to normal so i can come back i'm paying for where i'm leaving it's actually in um uh, jersey so that's that's where i'm at this is an apartment oh, okay good to hear but you put some excitement on our faces when you started the behind the hit challenge a lot of people started to talk about it we started with the ps jq we did richie and kill Beats. we came to street beat and dj breezy then we had uh, miss master gazi emoji beat and the one that got a lot of people even more excited jmj versus kwa kudos to you thank you bless you mm. yeah so i i, I know that okay let's hear you not just yes um yeah so i had the idea i had a conversation because i saw the inspiration came from obviously it was swiss, swiss beats and timberland they did something uh very dope i'm somebody that i believe in the mind and the power of the mind and how to you know take your mind off certain things and know that it's there it's serious but you don't let that eat into your mind so i like anything that takes my energy on the positive side so i saw that and i thought that was beautiful that people were engaging in that as much as you are like locked down it's very good for the people so i thought if i left it may maybe if we left it for the producers they might not have the uh because somebody needs to start it the same way they started it because if you leave it out there like that they will just call themselves let's do let's do this i don't call it a battle we're celebrating music so i have to just start the conversation call everybody individually and um yeah thanks be to god they all responded well and then yeah, we're enjoying ourselves because i was edu educating myself as well because there's certain music i didn't know that p2's produce or uh, jq or whoever so yeah it was a great thing for especially in these times yeah great but initially you were met with some challenges when um zap mallet didn't feel okay allegedly didn't feel okay to have been put in a certain category did that break you uh, no, I, um, I take respect very serious. So I hit up Uncle Zap um, before putting out any information, and um, he didn't seem like he was um, he had anything against it. I still don't feel like he has anything against it, but I think he also has a stance to be uh, to to state what he feels. I seen because anybody you see that repaired, it had nothing to do with me. So I call you and ask you who you're comfortable with. I could suggest. But I don't force you that you have to face this person or this has to face this person. So I talk to them individually. And most of them, what I do is if um, Qubit says Richie or Richie says Qubit, I feel like that's a great pair. Then I'll pair it. Because in my head, I had people that I wanted to you know, pair. But when I speak to them individually, everybody feels like I'm comfortable with this. And then I'll do that so that it can look organic. So it's, it's really not my decision. But I still understand what, where he stands. Mm. Yeah. But were you disappointed when that tweet came out, even because you said you had had some conversations with him initially? 
Um, not just dis- that disappointed is no good. I can't be disappointed in a legend like that. You know, it's um what he feels. I, it was it was a bit kind of like confusing. I, I didn't know if it was me or somebody was saying something to him that made it made him like tweet that. So um I, I'm still trying to like figure like because I've been hating him about it. You know, so we're yet to like have a conversation. But I don't feel because the conversation we had and how beautiful it was, we were laughing on the phone. So I don't think I don't know. It, I don't think it's me. I think it has to do with um, comments. You know, because when you bring anything in social media, people have their opinions, and it's up to you if you want to take it serious. So, let's start being longer on behind the hits challenge. There are people who have thought that you could have done this without putting um, producers against each other, even though you think that it wasn't a battle. People assume that it was because there were a lot of, you know, anxiety fans came in with your comments, and people began to feel like they were battling each other, and that could result in bad blood. Um, anything that results in bad blood is individual decision. I don't think fans should make you decide what you have to do. So fans are there to be to love you. You know they are loyal. Sometimes they can be unrealistic when they want to say stuff. That is why I don't tell the fans what to do. I have to do what I have to do so the fans will appreciate it. But the fans have their stance as you know you can't control that. You know so I even I think um, I spoke with Maurice Babyface and he had the same sentiments about um, the feedback he got from the previous you know face-offs and i told him i'm like it, it's respected anything that you do no matter how you it's like even features you do a feature with a rapper and everybody feels like um this one killed this one and then so you can't control that but our intention should be should not be what the fans are saying if that is clear i don't think it can go off board yeah well, whilst we're still enjoying the, the, the excitement that came with JMJ's face off with Kewa, you dropped a song, yeah. Sub Zero. What was that about? Oh, it's just, you know, as a rapper, sometimes you, you don't always, um, how should I put it? So people tend that to be a diss song. Let me just clear that. Um, I think in my whole life I've done probably two diss songs. You want to I, name I, them? I, no <laughs> <laughs> most of the songs that i do at this point that people find to be this um because if you listen to the song what i'm saying is if you want a this song you know you need to come in you need to humble yourself um come let's sit down let's have a conversation you know show respect because um let's not lie to ourselves that if i should throw a job at anybody specifically and go back and forth i don't win they win so uh, it's a conversation that you need to humble yourself come with your team let's sit down you know find something and come and sort out so that we can really do it well so this is not about this is not a this is not a this song i'm telling you that if you want a this song this is what's supposed to happen because if it happens there's nobody that will go toe to toe that would make me gain anything at this point in my career you know and i'm just being i'm not saying no one is doing well you could really have bars you could, you could be rapping well like you are very good you're dope but it's just not worth the back and forth that's what i'm saying Okay, so before we get into Sub Zero, I want people who.
apologize for some of the foul words used in that sub zero, uh, a song that is currently trending by Sarkodie. So, you say it's not like this song. Um, so, how come a lot of people have read meanings into that? People have mentioned a lot of names. Uh, I've heard of Bolje, I've heard of Assem, I've heard of even Shatawali. Some blog says, uh, say that this song is directed at them because of some of the words that you use in there. Oh, Miss G, welcome to Marcio. Senior. I was on Kaunya, a editing on my stand chat. See you, Femi. Oh, goodness. We are very, very sorry for that. We, 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 we take responsibility for that. Uh, we should have, actually. So, when I record these songs, um, I know it doesn't make sense, but um, I don't think about radio or TV. I, it's, these are freestyles for fans, you know, to, to listen to. But I know, obviously, because it's me, it will definitely make it to the radio. So I think uh, yesterday, DJ Black hit me up. For me to have a clean version because i was not looking at this song being played on radio or like on tv anything it's just for the fans so sorry you know this is the rap culture sometimes you just have to go wrong we yeah so what, you were saying, what, what, what did you say i'm saying that after the song was dropped a lot of people yeah. have attributed the lyrics in it to a lot of people. People have mentioned that same people said the part where he said, I'm, here, I'm, I'm sorry, my tree is not too good. They said that that was referring to Asem. People have mentioned Bolje in here. Um, and actually, he gave you a reply called a lullaby. And uh, that people say that that's a reply to you. Before we go to that as well, uh, people have said Shatawale. I've seen blogs say that Shatawale was also incited in that rap as sub zero. Tell me why people would assume that this is a diss track and mention these names that I have mentioned? Um, obviously, I'm not going to lie that when I did the record, I was expecting, you know, conversations like that. Um, to be specific, to mention names or say this and that, um, everybody that you mention are people that they are also doing music, they are doing well, you know, God bless them. But it's, it's, if, you make, if you make me be specific, it defeats the, the purpose of the record because what I'm saying is if you want that specific one on one I'm talking about you um, you need to come and sort out you know this is as simple as that you know you, you come with your team you you prepare yourself come and sort you know you don't just sit there and then expect a back and forth like that it's, 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 uh, let's let's be realistic if I do it I will not gain you gain so the names they are putting out that those are comments comes back to what I'm saying comment doesn't define what I'm doing Nothing is going to define what I'm doing. My decision is not based on what you're saying on Twitter. So, um, the, the specifics, I can't tell you that this is to this or this one, no. But it's, it's, a, it's a fun reaction because in these times where people are locked down, they need, you know, stuff like this to, you know, take their minds off uh, what is happening for, for a minute. Because if it's too intense, the, I know the virus is real, but I believe in faith and fear. So sometimes the faith is needed and then when you have to have faith you need to take your mind off certain things to be able to like unwind that so this is basically for that so the conversation is going on it's not really it's not realistic it's just people having fun on twitter now people also think that the timing for the song is wrong the vibe is not right and like you're saying a lot of people are beginning to read meanings as to who is he talking about who is he saying this to and it's causing a lot of um word battle if there's a word like that uh, on twitter on social media and people are trying to read meanings into this so people think that you know in this time when we have COVID 19 there's not a time to drop a song like this um because there's there's not it's, it's back to what i'm saying i think you're missing my point it's about how you want to see it because how i see it is different um it's not we're, we're in the music industry if I came out to tweet about it or I did an interview talking about it, that means that's like an agenda or something. This is music. And um, in this COVID-19, everybody has to do their work. We can, we can advocate for, you know, the information that people have to hear and all that, which is very necessary. But I don't think I have the right, even the right info more than the health practitioners, which is their job. So when they put that, sometimes we put the message across. But as entertainers, we still don't have to stop working. This G. There's covenants happening, but you're still at work right now because you yeah. have to work and people. So Asakodia, Shatawale, Stoneboy, whoever that's doing music, it doesn't stop because this is the point that they actually needed to um, stay home. So our quarter could be, you know, giving back physically, giving them stuff, and then also entertaining them so that they don't think. I, I watched a documentary where I think there's there, there's a hospital that invited musicians to come and play for for the patients, you know, because it takes their mind off. Um, what, what they are going through and mentally it helps them it's their psyche you know so entertainment is i hate it when people see our job as fun or like hobby this is a serious job i'm an artist 
And in these times, we need these things. Um, but the behind the heads really help. People were looking forward to it. So it helps with the mind. Um, I think Shatawale did a, a live concert, which is also beautiful because that takes your mind off, you know, what is happening. Then you're watching because you can't get a, the chance to go meet him. At, um, at this point, you can have a show. So that's also good. I see a lot, a lot of artists doing stuff, especially in the States. I see Tory Lanez having a quarantine radio live. It's, it's beautiful because we are artists. As much as we want to also panic, we have a job to entertain. So um, I think we're just still working. So you don't agree with that school of thought that it's wrong timing for uh, Sub-Zero? That school of thought is part of the whole conversation that's taking your mind off you being the COVID-19 you need to think about, which also helps. So it's not... Uh, I know how they're trying to make, change the narrative to say, I don't care. Because if you're giving back, it's different. You know, what I'm doing towards COVID-19, anybody who's commented, I might not be even doing that. But the entertainment goes on because as musicians, these times, as I said, it's very necessary that people take their minds off and still be entertained. Can you imagine this happening and then YouTube shuts down, no artists can sing, nothing. Everybody is, like, seriously, the death rate might even go up. You know, so it's not a bad timing. It's just you have, you have to know that I'm an artist, I'm a musician, my fellow artists are artists, and this is our job at this point. Now, yesterday, after having a conversation with Shatawale, I drew his attention to how Blogs had written that your song, Sub-Zero, was uh, um, targeted at him, including some others. And he made some response that you reacted to on Twitter. First off, I need to ask, was that your reaction? I saw it on your page, but I still live in disbelief. Was that your reaction? Um, yes. It's, if, if my Twitter is... I handle my Twitter myself. And I, I, you, 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 people think that the choice of words weren't appropriate. Um, can you remember what I've been saying? Um, again, you don't tell me what I have to tweet. So it's just in serious times where sometimes maybe you want to make fun of a situation that's happening or maybe still put feelings into it. You don't. You, you can't tell me what I have to say. You get it. And he, uh, later on, we had a live video from him where he went on talking about, um, you know, issues about he being stern and saying that he will beat you when you find you. I don't know if you've seen that. Do you feel your life is in danger with all the things that he said? I just woke up. I'll check on. Where is it? Is it Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't seen it yet. No, but like for yesterday, mm -hmm. I think there's, there's something that is is going on here that I can't I can't disclose. But I'm not when I come on Twitter, I come to tweet. I'm not trying to check what uh, people are saying. But this like today, I think I, have, I do have time. I'll have time on on social media. But I, I don't know. I've not really watched it. So should we expect a tweet from you after you've seen all those comments? Yeah. Uh, my reaction is based on how I feel. It's not, it's not what people expect. So, what, mm, what, what, what's, what's the relationship with you and Shatawali as we speak? I know the conversation is... That, that place is very necessary for you. I know it's, it's, a, it's a traffic starter. But um, it's, I've been asked so much that I'm getting tired of it. You know, it's, it's a conversation that's always people want to have. It's just getting well, I, 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 actually, it's, I'm asking because of what happened yesterday and your response via Twitter. Everybody in the media knows. Just that the question incites, you know, whatever. You know, the energy, this is the energy that you would want to push. But I think, obviously, people know that. It's not like me and Shatawali are hanging out or going to the club or talking to each other. I don't, I don't think people are naive to that. So it's a question that keeps coming. It's, it's, it gets boring when we have to always talk about it. Well, we, we are only concerned because of your tweet, because if there was that good blood, we wouldn't see the tweet from you, we wouldn't see the response that we got from oh. him. That's why we are concerned. Good blood. That's what I'm saying. Obviously, people know that it's not being like how it was. So trying to have a conversation about it at this, this point in time, I don't think it's, 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 it's coming back to back. Like, it's, it's like when I have interviews, like recently I was telling my people that I'm tired when I sit in interviews where people are saying, um, so where do you see yourself the next coming five years? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. You, what inspired you? Like we, I've been hearing this like thousand, like well, over a million You need times. to also know that there are people who are here to hear your story. There are people who are being born on a daily and growing up now yeah. knowing Sarkodia. There are people who just discovered you and all that. So don't fault some people yes. when they ask you these questions anyway. I know. But I'm saying naturally, as you can, reflex is different. 
you know, I, I get what you're saying, but what you feel is also different. So sometimes you sometimes you feel like you want to have a conversation. And especially there are certain circles that I feel it's necessary to have the conversation. If I'm if I go to India at this point and they're having me talk about, you know, my past and what I've what I went through music, I will, I will feel free. But to still be on TV today, my, my people that we have had conversations about these things you're asking me back to back again and trying to talk about it, I don't think it's as worth, you know. Well, the, I haven't asked you about how you got here, though, but that's all time will allow us. Uh, this conversation will stand from a conversation that we had yesterday, but that's all time will allow us. We're grateful that you made time uh, all the way from the United States of America to join us. We can't wait to have you home. Thank you so much. And then um, I want to say in these times where this uh, COVID-19 is like taking over our minds and really getting us, it's actually intense out here. I thought we were going to talk about that because um, we've been locked in a room i think i went out the, the last two days to see out for the first time for about like a week and it's wow. really intense out here. but i think whatever, whatever is happening people should really have faith that we are going to go past this but and, people uh, are asking questions of uh, what you've done even though you're far away here for your fans here to keep safe and all that what i've done i think what people some people are donating some people are uh you know putting out words there what have you done in your capacity uh Sarkodie, knowing that you have the sack natives who look up to you um we have done what we we can do um i will not say me i'll say success the team i've done what we can do you don't want and, to disclose um, what you have done it's uh, miss g i think people people uh, they know me by now it's really hard to have a conversation about that it's, it's i don't think it's necessary the conversation like that when i'm having it, i don't feel right all uh, right it doesn't yeah it doesn't it doesn't i don't feel like talking about it all right thank you very much we appreciate and, and that's you what, and hmm? I, think that, uh, I think the people of ghana should really take consider because the reason why you have sometimes you have two parties ruling for a very long time because of these things you know what you think you see on social media and that's what makes you like somebody but you have to be very careful about that so my life i detail what i believe based on what i have to do and i think if you're lying everybody will be judged at the end so i don't have the time to come and explain to people what i have to do and then if i have to share whatever if i've done it i've done it for myself and and whoever i'm trying to please bless you so much um hopefully we can get back to normal and we meet people back again and people should stay strong. The mind is very powerful in these times. You need to hold it. You need to make sure you, you listen to good music. Go listen to soccer there. Any music you want to listen to, go listen to it on wine. Stay home with your family and take your mind off it. And we're going to go through this. God bless South Nation. God bless Ghana. Miss G. I appreciate this. Thank you very much. God bless you, Sir Cody. And all the way from the United States of America, we had a conversation with Sir Cody. And I hand you over to Bella and Etonam Hubis. <laughs> okay, don't forget to also drop your comment in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.